Hey guys, Frank Cox here. Uh, we're back at the shop today. We got everything leveled up and, and put in place where these main runners are running parallel with each other. They're perfectly level. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna square this trailer up and uh, get some cross members hung and stuff. So watch this video and uh, make sure you're liked and subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. We've got our frame rail on this side set up like a cornerstone. It's, it's where we want it in space. It's, it's straight with the wall. That's what I use as a measuring point. We've got this one completely leveled. Once we got this one set in place, we're setting this one to it. Um, now for the convenience of how to, how to move things, we just gotta get these rails to where they're not twisted like this, right? They are parallel, but they're not, but right now they're out of kelter with each other. This framing square right here is a real cool tool just to kind of get started and get close. So all you got to do is you're going to use this as the backbone, what you're going against. Take this square and set it on here, right on the edge. Basically we're setting this square up right on the edge right here. And then we're going to run this, pull it back up against this. And what I want to see here, you'll notice I got a clamp holding this in place. And I want to see that this edge is perfectly square with this beam first. That's going to save me a lot of energy. So before I actually get down into things and do my 345 method, the 345 method is what we're going to use to verify. So essentially you're going to do like this, three, three feet, four feet, right? And then you're going to go from the corner to three, from four foot to three foot, and that's gonna be five foot across there. That's called the three, four, five method. So I've got this thing here set. We're gonna kind of lift up on this side a little bit, Joe is, and then I'm gonna slide this rail until this edge of my trailer is even with this edge of this beam. Then I'm gonna come back and verify everything. So all I did is he lifted up right here so this didn't move a whole bunch, it stayed pretty close. And then I slid this rail to match. Make sure that we're still square and we're not. So we gotta bump this just a little bit at a time until this matches up. See that? Okay, now we're perfectly square again here on this edge. You can tell because this edge is, pri is laying right in with that. So is this, there's no gap in the corner. Check it again. Okay, my, this rail is perfectly square on this side and I'm in the exact same position over here. So now what we're going to do is the three, four, five method. We're going to go three foot on this beam. There's a mark right here I already made. Then we're going to come from that corner, this edge. We're going to go that way four foot. And then we're going to make a mark there, which I've already done that over here. Now we're going to check from one side of this all the way over here and it should be exactly 60 inches or five feet. Um, anyway, that's how you're going to check to verify over a larger scope that this is perfectly square because you can only be as accurate as this length of this square is. So we're 59 and actually it's a 16th out, which if you really want to, you can dissect the atom on that and you can get it exactly, exactly perfectly but a 16th inch over five feet is pretty dang close. We've got this rail slid where it's not just parallel with the other beam, but now they're matched up. They're matched up like this. They're perfectly matched up. Now we're gonna verify what a square over here. And like I said before, that's not gonna be an incredibly perfectly accurate way of measuring. And it is, it's exactly just like a barely, just a little bit out of a 16th, like just under a 16th. So that's close enough for what we're doing here. I'm happy with that. Okay, now the last step before we start cutting cross members, now that we've got everything in alignment, we think, is we're gonna pull this off of this one and measure that this one is still parallel with it perfectly because we've moved quite a bit of stuff. Okay, I'm pulling off. I've got a 74 inch spring center on my axle. That's basically if I hook the outside of that and the inside of this, I'll have my, inch, my center mark, just like laying out studs on a house. So we're at exactly 74, which is astonishing to me. Let's try this one here. 
exactly 74. So from the center of that one to the center of this one is exactly 74. And that's what I need to have for my uh, trailer axle when I hang it. Uh-oh. Don't have a ground.